Hello, Bulldog family. This is Ms. McRoy, superintendent of the Tumwa Schools, and I have an important announcement. Uh, last evening at our school board meeting, I made the recommendation that we return to learn this fall with two different options for parents and students. The two options are, first, going back face-to-face -face will be one option that our parents and students have, and then the second option we're, we're providing to uh, parents and students is also uh, the virtual option. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a few minutes. Um, but first, I wanted to share that it was a very difficult decision. Uh, after a lot of contemplation, uh, I really felt like, uh, and after listening to a lot of our stakeholders, that these were really the two best options uh, for our students at this time. Recognizing that with the changing circumstances, uh, things could change and, and recommendations could change as well because of that. But Here's my rationale for why I made this recommendation last night. Uh, the first was is that the, these two options provide the best educational experience for our kids. Face-to-face -face is probably the best for most of our kids, but also our virtual option provides an option for our kids that are medically fragile or have certain other accommodations that they need. Secondly, uh, and I think importantly, is that a lot of our students have food insecurities and this make, ensures that our students get meals every day when, when they're at school, and I think that's important. Thirdly, it also uh, takes care of a lot of child care issues for our uh, families. Uh, they don't, if they go face to face, they don't have to worry about finding child care during that time. And we think that's important to try to accommodate parents uh, that have those child care issues. Fourthly, I also feel like this is the best as far as taking care of our social and emotional needs of our students. Many of our students have been isolated for a long period of time, and I think this having face-to-face -face allows our staff to really help our students with their social and emotional needs. Also, lastly, I think why the, our recommendation is important to meet the needs of our students is that it also meets the special population needs of our students, like ELL, gifted and talented special ed, uh, those populations are best served in a face-to-face -face model as well. I recognize by making these two recommendations of face-to-face -face and virtual that it makes di social distancing more difficult in the face-to-face -face model. With that said, I am providing or requiring uh, two additional things in my recommendations. They are that all students are required to wear masks as well as all staff are required to wear masks. We think these two provisions will help alleviate uh, some of the social distancing issues, but also we understand that in our priority is to provide the, the best safe, most safe environment we can for students and staff, and we feel by doing requiring masks of both of them, that will accomplish that. In closing, I want to sincerely thank all our stakeholders, community, parents, students, for all their feedback on our Return to Learn plan. Your thoughts and comments were invaluable to helping us determine what's going to be best for our students and parents when they return in the fall, and I greatly appreciate that. A few other things I'd like to mention are that you'll be receiving in the upcoming weeks um, some Im important information, first about our mitigation plans for our health and safety what we're going to do to ensure that our staff and, say, and students are safe when they return this fall. And then secondly, you also receive information on a virtual online option. I want to remind parents that the deadline for that application is this Friday, August 7th. Have a great day, Bulldogs.